Hello, my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Now we will talk about this 996 actuator from uh, it is Libre Hair 1220 scale, around 135 kg. So we will see how all these receivers, radio, and all the radio control the settings, how it is done. Open this front leather cover, secured by a magnet and a hook. Under there, that's the drive system powered on by this one, one battery and also inside have one receiver that's for the two drive. Let's open the cover and we will see others, all the parts. On top, these two cover already removed. That's two receiver for the two pump module, so totally four pump. This cover is hooked up, locked there, just push and open it up. That's the hook and pin. And the back side, that's the wet block. Have the battery inside for the top pump system. Uh, now we will not lift up. Let's first lift up this cover, the leather side. After open, you can see inside. So this side we got the two cooler for the two module. Under the cabin, here have one cover for this on the side box, so one screw, two screw, and one here inside, and one at the front. Remove it, first screw, then you can lift up the top cover with the cabin. So we will go to on the side, that's all the wires, receiver, and speaker. So here, all this unit powered by the rear side battery, and uh, that's the power wires, the power connections, receiver, downside have the speaker, so you see it's in the box. Here this power switch already short circuit, so it's not even using. Here we have short circuit for it. So that's the wire connections for all the lights. So on here we have the drive system with one receiver, so X4R. So for channel we are using use, use two, so two drive motor, two ESC it is inside, and uh, under the cabin this one it is one X eight R eight channel. So now we're using eight channel, and uh, here on the pump module have two more receiver, they are X six R. So each have five channel, six channel use the five channel. Both the same. Here, that's the big oil tank with a temperature sensor. And uh, here, that's the first pump module with two pump. Another pump module with two more pump. So rear side battery can put very big one. We have 24,000 mAh battery. Power switch is here. On top, that's the smoke blower. So inside they have motor and uh, ESC. This one same, two unit. Now we will see for the EASC all the drive system and uh, all the pump system, the receiver, all the plugs, how it is connected and the radio settings. So first go to the mixer. So after return, you click MDL. Here you will see the mixer. That's all the channel settings. And the control code and mix control is all here. And uh, before you make the setting for binding, it's here, RF system. Click RF system. So this one, we already add, we already add external module. So can connect to more receiver for 16 channel control more. Let's see the radio settings. So here, after you go to the RF system, yeah. So here you see the first, it is the internal module. We are using ACC ST D16 16 channel control. Can, uh, can connect to X8R receiver. So that's the type. Keep it on. So range binding to channel 1 to channel 16. 
And for 16 channel more, we add this external module. So keep it on. That's the type, D16. And uh, connecting the receiver channel from channel 17 to channel 32. So for binding, let's say, first, from channel 1 to channel 4, we bind it, and we are using only channel 1 and channel 2. So for binding, let's go to internal module, because we are using the first receiver and the cabin receiver, that's internal module. So for binding, let's say, first, uh, the receiver, we can only choose to bind eight channels. So here, choose the internal module, bind. So from here, you will see you can only choose one to eight. And the second receiver, nine to 16, choose the on. First one, one to eight, tell him on. Bind. Yeah, so. Internal module telemetry lost. Now, so radio binding mode, keep pressing the binding button. Bind and uh, power it on, same time keep pressing for three seconds. Bind. Okay, already still flashing and already have green light. Now, here radio, press OK. Bind. After press OK, remove the power, then power it on, the signal will be connected. Press OK because the signal lost will have Bind. some malfunction, you have to power it off. Okay? Internal module telemetry recovered. Okay, power it off. Then power it on again, signal will be connected. Okay, it's only green and light, so now we have the control. Yeah, so it's all connected. One to eight channel connected. So for internal module, one to eight connected. For binding, channel 9 to channel 16, choose 9, 16, on. So after click, same sequence for 1 to 8. So we will not connect this one again. For different external module, so let's see, for bind, let's start from channel 17 to 32. So first receiver, 8 channel at the front, that's 17 to 24 channel. This one, it is from 25 to 32. That's, now the signal is all connected. Let's see how to bind again for external module. So bind, first receiver channel one to eight. That's for external module. Choose the first one on. Bind. Okay. External module telemetry lost. You see one binding, signal already lost. Power it off. So when you binding, this one always power off. So bind. for the first one, one to eight, for external module, keep pressing the bind button and bind. Uh, power it on. Okay, flashing and uh, power bind. it off. Yeah, before power off here, binding okay. Okay. External module telemetry recovered. Power it off. And the power on again, this external one will have a signal. Lost. External okay, module telemetry already all recovered. connected. So let's try. You start the pump. You have all the function. So for external module, when you binding again from 25 to 32, Click bind, keep this power off, yeah? And uh, you choose channel 9 to 16, tell him lost. on. So same sequence as another one, so bind it. After bind, you will have all control again to, to power it on, you will see. So here are the receivers and the binding. So if your machine no have signal problem, still have all the control and the signal, do not play with this receiver binding because after lost the signal uh, for binding again, maybe you it's trouble to get it correctly. Each channel corresponding. Yeah? Don't play with it. So go back. Let's see 
go to the mixer, we will see all the switch functions settings, mixer, slide into top. So first the receiver one to eight channel, we are using only two channel. Receiver only four channel, so we are using for, let's say, click the first one, click again, edit, you will go inside. So the name you can write here, FR, and uh, active condition we choose always on. So source, you click it, you can choose. So slide the left, you move it, you will have the switch choose. So sliding down here, you will see it's, we are using only 27% of the load of the driving motor. So we are choosing channels count two because we already set mix control left and right. So left slider goes forward and backward. Right slider goes turning left and uh, turning right. That's the mix control because we choose channel count two. So first after put is channel one. Channel one, that's the right track. And the second up to output is channel two, that's left track. So your directions, if you got wrong, you can choose here, reverse, and also second channel have reverse. This one already reversed, so we got the right direction, both track go forward and backward. That's first mix control for left slider. For second control, we are using right slider. The slide edit, we are going for the turning. So also choosing, you see, first output, it is channel one. Second output is channel two. So one turning direction, let's say now turning left. If turning not correctly, also you can reverse here to make it the direction same correct as you prefer. So that's channel one and channel two. We have two spare settings here we are not using because we set it up for change to this turning knob for controlling the drive, but not, now not using. Also you can set up like this using the turning for driving. Go to edit. Now we are not choosing the control switch. It's canceled, it's one line. It's the settings. So anyway, we are now using. Okay, the next one, it is the rotation. Start from channel nine, second receiver, channel nine to channel uh, 16. So the receiver, it is under the cabin. That's the second receiver. Channel nine, rotation, click in, edit. So name, HZ, that's for rotation, choosing always on, rather it is this one, that's for rotation. And uh, that's the control curve. You see how the curve going. Also we set up for the end points, it is already 100% for the rotation. So for control curve here, you choose edit. That's how it's setting. For control curve, let's see. So type custom. Points, I chose nine points. So it's not easy mode like this. You can go to set up X, Y, different direction. You can move all the dots, Y direction and X direction. So that's the numbers. Let's choose the first one, this one. So that's how you increase or decrease. It was 79 downside. Also, if you choose this one, uh, okay, we have to easy mode. You cancel the easy mode. Now you will be able to, uh, again, should be on, this one is on. Like this, you will be able to change the Y direction, X direction. See, so you can move it. 
So the control curve, if you make it more smooth, so you can start rotation slowly, more fine control, slowly start, slowly rise. That's for the control curve purpose. Drought. Channel 10, it is the sound. Click inside, edit, always on, choosing the source. So now it is using SB. SB, that is the second one, that's the sound. If you push it down, sound will start. Have another sound, two sound uh, units, two speakers. So another one start by this one. So for the sound, just start directly. No need to set control curve. And the output is channel 10. You choose from here. Channel 10. Channel 11, that's the sound mix control. Click inside. So that's the big arm. That's the big arm mix control sound. So when you move in the arm, the engine sound will have corresponding change. Channel 11 again, that's also for the sound. This one for the bucket. That's bucket sound. Channel 12, sound 2, controlled by SH. This Eight switch number eight. So I will switch one. You will hear. Switch it off. We will have to wait slowly off. It's sound is off. Go back. That's sound two SH. Channel thirteen. XB, that's the front arm sound. So for choosing the source, front arm here, through to front arm, we are um, changing using this stick to push forward and backward. That's through to, that's the name. Okay, so downside also. Channel 7, uh, 13. Go out. Channel 13 again, that's the rotation sound controlled by rudder. Edit. That's the rotation sound. After sound on, you will hear the sound. So. That's the rudder switch for rotation and the rotation sound. Go out. Channel 14. LB, that's the ladder. Click inside. Uh, sorry, LB, that's the speaker. So that's this switch, SN, this pressing switch. That's for the Horn is channel 14. LB is a horn sound. Push button. Channel 16. So 15 we are not using. No help 15. Channel 16. That's the LED light. We are using SI. That's this switch. The light. Light off. Light on. Channel 16, go back. Channel 17, XBF, that means front arm valve. So we are using the throttle for front arm valve. So you see the control curve, the valve open quickly. So can have the, that's this point, that's the valve start to open all your flow inside the arm start to making slow motion. So then slowly increase and uh, speed up. So name, source, switch, that's the throttle. Always on, 
control curve, XBF, edit, go inside, you will see the control curve. So it's set up like this. So if you choose here, point config, you can set up each dot, move up and down, left and right, to change the, de the settings, to make it well open smoothly. So 100%. Channel 17, go out. Channel 18, LTF, that's the ladder valve. So EXT2, that's, that's this switch. Turning switch, and now I'm using to open the ladder valve to operate the ladder. So here, that's the control curve. Control curve also named LTF. So from these two points, the valve starts open oil flow inside, then slowly increase. That's channel 18, the ladder, yeah, EXT2 tennis switch, channel 19. So uh, just confirm again, channel 17, that's already for number three receiver, start from channel 17 to channel 24. That's the front receiver, number three receiver. Okay, so channel 19, XBB, that's the front arm pump. So for pump, port one, port two, port three, port four. So each pump corresponding to each moving. Port one, uh, this one, XB, it's port four, this one front arm, port four, for front arm. So that's how the pump running, check. So in the middle, it's uh, idle speed. It's enough for operation. For mix control, the pump will increase. That's the control curve, XBBIO. Go inside, you can see the control curve for the, the pump to start. So I keep at idle speed. I will raise the big arm. And when you're moving, the front arm mix control the pump will increase. Go out, see again, 100%. So the load is controlled by control curve. Channel 19, off. So channel 19 again. That's the mix control for the pump. XBB mix means front arm mix control the pump. That's the pump control curve. So uh, either speed below zero, the pump already start below zero. In the middle, that's the zero uh, position. Below zero already start and uh, both way slowly increase the pump load. Front arm, pump number four, mix control. Okay, LTB port two, that's the ladder pump. LTB port two, port two is this one, ladder pump. So that's the control curve, same as other pump. Channel 20, ladder pump, port two. Channel 20 again, ladder pump, mix control. So when you're moving the ladder, keep the pump at idle speed. Now the, later we will see the ladder. That's only the operation now. Off. Channel 21. That's the smoke number one. Have two smoke fan. L1 is number one. Okay, go to edit. So it is L1. Now already start have fan. Already blowing air. So if you put the powder inside here, manually 
start will already blow smoke. Okay, off position, it's totally off. This one we are not using. 21, now it's off because we have a missed control switch. Click inside, that's smoke number one. It's have mixed control with the big arm and the front arm. So big arm, let's see the mixed control. Edit, go inside, active by switch SD. Keep it on, switch SD number four on, the control curve now it's showing. So when you're moving, the fan will start. You keep it at idle speed, middle. Now the fan starts. That's the mix control for fan number one. And the uh, mix control fan number one by front arm. Yeah, also SD, but controlled by throttle. Okay, this mix control off. Mix control off, this one manually will be put to off position. 25, that's number four receiver from 25 to 32 channel. So 25, that's the bucket valve. Click inside, always on. Bucket air, this AI, RON, that's the bucket switch. Control curve, also WDF. Edit, you will see how the bucket will open. Channel 25. Channel 26, that's the big arm valve. Controlled by elevator, this switch, big arm valve. Also control curve, DBF, that's the control curve. 100%, one channel, channel 26. Channel 27, that's the bucket pump. That's port one, this one, port one, bucket pump. On, off, WDB, bucket, always on, port one. Control curve, that's how the bucket Open, uh, no, my mistake. Let's check again. Uh, that's the bucket pump. Yeah, sorry, not well. Bucket pump. Control by port one. The pump, how it's started, check here. Below zero, pump already at idle speed start and slowly increase. That's channel 27. Channel 27 again. That's uh, mix control by bucket for the pump. Always on. Control by this switch. So that's the control curve. So when you're moving, the pump not start directly. So if you want to start directly, we will have to put the pump at a idle speed, low speed for immediately oil supply. So now like this, the, the moving of the bucket or arm, it will be swiftly, immediately corresponding to your operation. Okay, off, off. Channel 28, part three. 28, that's the big arm pump. Part three, that's this one. So it's pretty much all same. Just show you again. Channel 28, again, this one is mixed control for the big arm pump. Controlled by big arm switch. Put uh, idle speed. Increase. Off channel 29, that's smoke 2, fan 2, controlled by L2. So start it. Now already blowing air, you can hear it. 
off, start, that's manually. So if we put to mix control, the fan is this switch. Go out, that's channel 29. Uh, we still have two channel 29 mix control, that's for mix control start the number two smoke fan. So now you see no control curve because of mix control on, you see now you have the control. So it is control, mix controlled by bucket and uh, rotation. So when rotation and, and uh, moving bucket, number two fan smoke will start. When you're moving big arm and the front arm, number one smoke fan will start by this mix control. Off, go inside, same settings as number one. Also controlled by SD, source, it is uh, bucket and the front arm. Miss control slave channel 29 is the number two fan. Okay, that's all the control settings from here. So, as you see, we have four receiver. Number one receiver only four channel using two. Number two receiver on the cabin eight channel using eight channel. Number three receiver six channel using five. Number four receiver six channel also using five channel. Let the pump port to idle speed. Slowly pull down. Up. Speed up. Slowly. Pull down again. Speed up. Yeah, so that's for turning switch, you can control the speed easily. Okay, let's operate it. Light on. Smoke mix control on. Smoke put to middle idle speed. And uh, sound number one on. Sound number two on. 